Hi, my name is Andrea. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I made this doghouse. It's made of white cedar and guanacaste wood. Enjoy the video! On the miter saw, I made cross cuts and cut them to length. I was following the plans, which later showed that it was a bad idea. I fixed the saw, marked the length, and placed the stop block for repeated cuts. I missed one length for a roof and I joined it with the pocket holes. First I cut the groove and then set 5 degree cut for the angle of the roofing. This produced a lot of smoke. I made a mistake by cutting that angle on the opposite side of the pocket holes, so I made this fix which came pretty invisible at the end. I cut out the gable part which was wrong size in the plans cut list, so I stopped following the plans and I cut it later to size. With the hand plane I made all of the roundovers so I get log cabin look. That took a lot of hand planing, I wish for a router now. Then I cut the subroof construction out of guanacaste, rot and insect resistant wood. I marked for the pocket holes, drilled them and then glued and joined the boards. I sharpened my chisel and made grooves in roofing for that shingle look that took quite some time to finish. With the exacto knife I followed the grooves under the roofing for about 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch. I used the cut marks with the file and sandpaper. Then I glued the boards together to form all four sides of a house. I used packing tape so the glue doesn't stick to the table. Then I drilled pocket holes to join all the sides together. When that was done, I started to cut and place the trimming. First on the inside frame of the door, where the end grain was showing. I glued and nailed the door trim. Then I glued and screwed the inside gable trim. I made the house bottom using the same method as the subroof and secured it with pocket holes. Then I started to glue and screw the roofing to the subroof. When I put the last shingle in place, I figured out that I haven't screwed the subroof to the gable, so before the glue set, I took it all apart and repeated that process. I was lucky. Then I cut 3 inch legs, which were glued to the side trim to raise the house of the floor.
To fill the space where the rooftop meets, I found a scrap piece of aromatic red cedar, which fit almost perfectly. I pre-drilled it and glued it, and screwed that part into the top. I countersunk the screws so I can plane the excess flush to the roof without damaging the plane blade on the screws. That worked very well. When the trim and legs were dried, I used a hand plane to round over the edges. The place where the side trim meets the gable trim was cut to 22 and a half degrees, which add up to 45 degrees, which is the roof angle. I then cut one side rooftop trim and glued and nailed it in place. For the other side of trim, I measured the width plus thickness of the trim material to make overlapping rooftop. Then I made the front view trim. Before gluing it, I sanded all the surfaces. Then I glued and nailed already sanded trim. With a wet rag, I took off the glue excess. Then I sanded the roof while the door trim was drying. I applied the mineral oil to all of the surfaces. Mine is red and after a week completely loses the color, which doesn't alter the natural wood color. It's interesting stuff. After a week, I cleaned the dust with the clean brush and cloth. Then I applied my signature, which I should have done before oiling the wood. I protected it with spray lacquer. Then I applied wood sealer to all of the surfaces. When it was dried, I lightly sanded the high spots. Followed up with a nice brush and satin finish lacquer. I applied two hands with a sanding between. When the lacquer was dried, I applied beeswax and oil mixture and left it for two hours in the hot sun. Then I buffed it with the clean cotton cloth, which left beautiful wood finish and protection. I also measured the temperature inside and outside the house after 4 hours in the blasting Mexican sun. A great insulation. The roof can be taken apart for easy cleaning and maintenance. And there it is, a nice looking dog house. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment and share. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos. Take care and thanks for watching.